All right, it's kind of dimly lit here. Um, just want to make a very short video about the Yazidis' uh, take on Malak Tos, the peacock angel. So, traditional Islam says that God created Adam and Eve and put the angels over them to minister to them. And there were seven main, like, big angels who were assigned to do this. And... Uh, Malak Toss, also called the Peacock Angel, because he was he was proud in that moment, said, "He's but man is less than us. No, I will not bow to Adam. I will not minister to mankind's needs. I will not, because they are not our equal." <clears throat> the traditional Islamic doctrine about this is that Malak Toss then became the devil or um, one of the one of the main devils okay so the is the Yazidi is an offshoot of Islam the Yazidis say that Malik Tos would then later change his heart and then be restored by God so I've been doing a series about spirit thinking it's too good for soul so no, I'm not going to listen to the feminine energy. Uh, there, you know, the feminine energy is below me. It needs to submit to me. And and how Malak Toss, the peacock angel, that the creation of the king of pride is through separation theology. It is now. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, in Paul's day, it was just like they were coming into it fresh from the, the animal sacrifice, fresh from law. So it was their perfect increment. Of progression but a past aeons perfect increment of progression grace theology is the next aeons devil if you stay with it when the progression happens by the Spirit of God so the whole book of Hebrews was about that it was addressing uh, Jews who held to the old aeon of animal sacrifice while they were trying to par simultaneously partake of grace that fulfills the law, the nature of love that fulfills everything that was contained in uh, types and shadows. New moons, Sabbaths, keeping of the law, ceremonial cleansings, etc., so Hebrews was saying, if you go back to animal sacrifice once you've been illuminated to grace, then animal sacrifice is not going to cleanse your conscience. That's what it meant. There's a, there remains only a fearful looking for of judgment. Meaning, if you come into this, you can't have that. You can't mix worlds is what the book of Hebrews was saying. And that's what people like me are saying about this. You can't go back into... If you go back into grace theology, the book of Galatians, if you go back into that, after you've already been illuminated to this, that spirit and soul are equal. Because grace is to give your spirit power over the soul. Great, and see, legalism is, is the power of fear and the power of flesh to try to overcome your soul. Your feminine energy, your emotions, your sexual appetites, your... Uh, food appetites, um, um, the, the, the idea that you could have a thought. <laughs> you know, lean not to your own understanding, the old Aeon said. So legalism is the power of fear to keep your soul under. Grace is the power of spirit, the power of God, the power of the higher self to keep your, to keep your soul under. But this illumination is the power of spirit and soul, firstly, are equals. They are in tandem as equals. Even the bodily appetites are, the uh, sexuality is now sacred. The erotic is now sacred, whether you're in a legal marriage or not. And uh, <clears throat> as long as everything is done with your partner, as far as nothing is done in the dark or on the sly, everything, nothing is done intrusive in any way, consensual, liberty, love is the law, uh, for all operations, but the erotic is medicine, and that's a whole different working of of of. Um, 
it's a whole different medicine than two souls making love in a marriage. Making love and the erotic are two different things, although they can overlap. So that's equal to your meditation, prayer life, prophetic decrees. That's equal. Spirituality and sexuality are equal in this illumination. Once you've had this illumination, you can't go back to grace theology because grace theology is the destruction and annihilation of what I'm illuminating you to. So Malik Toss says, no, uh, everything human is under me. I'm celestial. Anything terrestrial is less than me. I will not minister to it. I will not consider it my equal. No. And so that's the creation of the king of pride. Done in the name of extreme humility before your maker. Done because the past aeon said you should do this and therefore you think you're being humble before God when you're really being humble before a few, uh, well, literally eight, eight Jewish men wrote the New Testament. Eight Jewish men in the Middle East who, who were not as evolved as you were when you were born. Peter, James, and John in their highest state were not as evolved spiritually and psychologically as you were when you were born. Because that's that was put in our DNA. That was put into our creation. God breathed the breath of life into mankind. Evolution and progression were in it. <laughs> you can't, every, that's why Jesus said, in this generation, Peter, James, John, Thomas, Mary Magdalene, it's in your generation that everything I'm saying that needs to be done will be done. This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. The coming of the, archi the, the, the archetypal traits, love, joy, goodness, peace, righteousness that fulfills the law, the arch archetypal traits of, of Christ will manifest in your life before you're done preaching in the cities of Israel. And, that's what it, and then some of you will not taste of death till you've seen the Son of Man, meaning the traits of the next age. They were in Aries. Age of Pisces was on the way. Some of you, 12, <coughs> not all of you, but some of you will see the traits of the age of Pisces while you are yet living in this age, Aries. And so some of us here watching are living in the age of Pisces, but we'll see the traits of Aquarius in our lives. And it's not... Aquarius has been advertised as though it were the age of Pisces on steroids. Uh, an intensification of Pisces. So Pisces was the, the grace that uh, uh, um, displaces the soul. The grace of God that magnifies spirit and displaces the energies of the soul. So you had to uh, to perfect Pisces, to perfect the age that we were born in. You had to think only on the good and never mind the bad. So people are thinking Aquarius is just going to be that plus more. <laughs> it's not. But, or, people, or, or people that went with the, uh, the Christian ideal of the three feasts of Judaism thought that tabernacle was just going to be Pentecost on steroids, an intensification of Pentecost. So there was Passover, blood, animal sacrifice. There was Pentecost, spirit power over the soul, over the body. And then there's tabernacle. And people have been saying tabernacle, also called Aquarius, that the age of tabernacle would be 100% spirit and you would have a total Sabbath rest from any energies of, the human, of your humanity. Nothing could be further from the truth. That's just a man without a woman. That's all that, that's all that would be. A spirit without a soul. A man without a woman. A sun without a moon. That's all that would be. Just think only the, the visual, but don't do anything. Uh, don't go do, don't go to job interviews, just think that if somebody's gonna, so just think that your name is gonna pop into the CEO's head, and he's gonna call you and tell you you've got the job. No, you got you got to do your part. So you want to eradicate uh, negative self imagery? Yes, it does start with speaking power words, speaking only good of yourself. 
But the point of speaking good of yourself is that it, the flashlight of that illumination, once it's strong and you've been doing it a while, visualizing only good things about yourself, that flashlight then shines down on the soul, shines down on the subconscious, and shows you then what you must eradicate by the power of your will. It's national too. The light is shining on racism that the white culture might eradicate it from their midst to create a, the equality that they they say they have but obviously don't. Um, so Jews, the way they look at Palestinians in Israel is like Malak Toss looking at mankind. They're below us. Never are equal. And that's BS. And that's going to cause... See, there's, there's, here's a nation who has that cycle um, oppressed in Egypt. So then they oppressed Canaan and thought they were hearing God tell them to do it. Um, oppressed in the Holocaust, and now they're creating a semi-Holocaust for the Palestinians. This is a cycle that, that this nation needs to break the hell out of. Because that up and down, up and down, being oppressed then oppressing, being oppressed, then oppressing. That's not going to end until they end it. The white evangelical church, the curse they brought upon themselves will not be lifted until they do the work. Otherwise, they're going to keep bringing this stuff upon themselves. And all Jesus said it this way, all the sins of all the ages are upon you, Pharisees. It didn't have to be that way. They could have had that, that energy lifted through uh, accepting the change of the age but they didn't white evangelical church could could have all that stuff lifted through forgiveness reconciliation making reparations doing what's right and they will not and it's obvious that they will not tucker carlson is their god donald trump is their god there's no jesus they call it jesus but it's white supremacy be sure and um columbus google it it's fact checked sold 11 year old 12 year old 13 year old girls for sex that was his main way of making money. Genocide of the Native Americans. That spirit got uh, absorbed into Christianity. And that's why nobody can see the atrocity that's going on in Israel right now. Because it's normalized in the bloodline of Christianity. Once you go into a church and say, Lord Jesus, come into me. It's not a brown Middle Eastern man, Jesus of Nazareth, the spirit, whose spirit comes into you. It's... What Columbus and the 13 colonies and the Puritan culture create, recreated Christianity as in the astral and the spirit world. That's the spirit world that <laughs> breathes itself into you and it comes up in your clay and opens the eye of its consciousness and suddenly you don't give a flying fuck about anybody except uh, Christians and Christianity and converting people. In your own pain, to hell with it. I'm a prisoner of the Lord Jesus. Other people's pain, the hell with it. You need to forgive, and that's it. Your, your responsibility is to forgive, otherwise the Father won't forgive you. Toxic cycles of pain over and over until Malak Toss, the peacock angel, the crown of pride, which is Christianity, which in, in a lot of cases is Islam, and in a few, a few sects left of Judaism that do that, until <clears throat> the Malak Toss, the peacock angel, does what the Yazidi sect, said he eventually did, which is to repent, change of heart, and work with mankind. The spirit chooses to then work with the soul instead of crush it underfoot because Paul told it to. Um, we're not in that age anymore. We've moved on. So when Jews do that with Palestinians, when blacks do, or when whites do that with blacks, when they do some of that in South Africa, when the higher castes of India do that with the lower castes of India, when some of the Asians... In, in those countries start loving each other. When these things happen, when you appreciate you just for who you are, not what you could become, when you stop waiting for that day, well, when this happens, when this happens in my life, when I finally do this, when I get this degree, when I do this, when I get this career, when I, when I marry this type of person, when I get this type of house, then I'll be happy. No, you have to be happy with you right now. Otherwise, the manifestation of those great things will be done through the power of tension and insecurity and fear it won't be done in the right spirit and it won't, won't be held together by the power of your word to be held, held together by the power of your fear. You want to love yourself and work with you, the you that exists right now, not the you that's supposed to come up to some high, perfect ideal. Do what Malak Toss didn't do, but later did. Do it now.
spirit and soul congeal. Love yourself just for who you are, and then you'll find you start loving other people just for who they are. All right. Um, so the word amen in, 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 in uh, yeah, I'm going to speak that word, and I'm going to tell you the gematria. Amen. And so it is. Abrahadabra, the lema, which means I speak my will and create it. Amen. 76 is the gematria, the numerical value of, of the word amen. 76 years ago, Hitler ended his life. There's a fractal, and all the oppressors may end, and their spirit, and their maloktos, peacocking gel uh, ways of, of going about sociality. Amen. 